What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Sponsored A Podcast, the only podcast that is anchored in writing, but unlimited in scope. I'm your host, Tony Ortiz, and I appreciate you listening. This is episode 249 of the Sponsored A Podcast, and if you can tell by the sound of my voice, it's a little fucked up right now, hence me re-releasing an episode. The one I chose to re-release this time around is one of my least favorite short stories that I wrote. This is the short story audiobook version of the story Fly. Now I'm going to leave the original intro in it so you guys can get a a bit more uh, background into how the story came to be. Apologies in advance for just the tone and the bad editing and all that good stuff. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit before re-releasing it. But mind you, the episode was recorded back in like 2015, 2016. And that's one of my least favorite stories, like I mentioned. Um, not exactly sure why. I feel like it was a good idea, like the germ of an idea, just the execution was, was poor. I wrote it very quickly, like within a week or less. That probably has a lot to do with it. And yeah, just don't, don't love it. But again, like the something within it, I like. That I can't really put my finger on. Now I saw the other day a short by an artist that I like, Brenda Raquel, which is a Dominican actress and writer and director. She has this short, and I've spoken about her in the past, if I'm not mistaken. She's in, she's done a you know, a few different episodes of TV, like Law and Order, like that type of shit. Um, She's in the Dominican York series, which I like on YouTube, uh, La Fatoria, which I broke down here on the podcast. And she's a, a really dope artist. And she has a short that I bumped into on YouTube, which I'll link to in the episode notes, which is a very similar concept to this story that, that I wrote. Hers is called Differences. Now, one of the big differences between hers and mine is that hers was executed and done very, very, very well. <laughs> and it, me seeing that made me think of this story of my own that, again, is not my favorite, but made me see a different type of execution to the same concept. And hers, for example, takes, care, takes place in a like restaurant bar and the camera's panning table to table and you get to s- get an insight into the dynamic of the relationship between the people that are sitting in one table versus another, completely unrelated. Um, you get some insights into the life of the bartender and what she's dealing with with her boss, so on and so forth. Similarly, in my story, uh, it's called Fly, because as you'll hear from the cheesy audiobook version that I try to put together and the sound of a fly that's consistent throughout the story. It's a, a fly on the wall during like the rush hour lunch in like a corporate setting at a fast food joint and how the fly is going from, you know, flying around the restaurant and just eavesdropping into each of these conversations. But yeah, that's what we have in store for you this time around. For the next episode, which will be the last episode of the year, I'll definitely have a brand spanking new episode for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, Before we jump into the episode, which again is going to be the original intro of the episode that was released years ago, which uh, gives background into this short story, along with the audiobook version of the short story itself and the original outro. But before we get into all that good stuff, here is one quick way that you can help support this podcast if you so choose. Your support, as I always mention, means a ton. I really appreciate it helps me keep the lights on here at the proverbial spun today studios and definitely motivates me to continue doing more of what i love which is writing and podcasting so here's one quick way that you can help support the podcast and then we will jump right into the episode support the spun today podcast by following me on social at spun today on twitter at spun today on instagram Please also check out and like my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash spun today and subscribe to my YouTube page as well. On my YouTube page, not only will you get these full length episodes, but you'll also get to check out some chopped up clips and bonus content. To get to my YouTube page, just search spun today on YouTube 
or click on any of the YouTube icons on the footer of my website. Also, don't forget to rate and review this podcast wherever it is that you're listening. It really does help. What's going on? Welcome to episode number 37 of the Spun Today podcast. I'm your host, Tony Ortiz. Thank you very much for listening. This is going to be probably a pretty short episode. I have pretty much one thing to cover on in the intro. And if you guys noticed by the title, this is one of the audiobook podcasts where I feature a short story that I've written and I do my best to try to make it into a professional sounding audiobook with background noise and, you know, ambient noises and music and whatever sounds I feel would enhance the experience of the story and make you kind of feel you're Randy and Ralphie sitting in front of the radio listening to Little Orphan Annie or something like that and trying to make it, you know, the podcast uh, pop out and come to life for you a bit. So speaking of Christmas, I hope everybody had a good one. I'm recording this intro right now on December 28th, Monday. Hope you guys had a Happy and healthy Christmas and Hanukkah and Festivus and whatever else it is that you guys celebrate around this time with your families and loved ones and whoever you wanted to be spending it with. If I sound clearer and sharper and more awesomer, that's because I'm speaking to you from a new microphone. Thanks, babe, for the Christmas gift. The Shure SM58 that I wanted. And if I sound the same, then I guess I've been doing a pretty good job in post-production with Levelator and playing around with the the sound mixer and shit but either way welcome to the episode i hope you guys are looking forward to it i haven't put an audiobook out in a minute and this one was kind of impromptu it's a short story like i said a micro story it should be it's really short it's about a thousand words just shy of it i believe if i'm not mistaken and it's the quickest short story that i've ever written which i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but the I started writing it on Christmas, actually on the 25th. I got the idea for it sometime during that week when I went out to lunch by my job. And whatchamacallit, uh, I was at Smashburger by my job. It was my second time there. It's not that good. Not that I, I hadn't heard of it before. I went to it once when I opened up. It opened up around my job. I hadn't been back to it since. Went back and first time I had uh, an avocado burger or something like that. It was decent. One of my girl actually, she met me by my job. And they have some in, some fries that are that are pretty good. That are, they have, it's called Smash Fries, and they are fries with olive oil and basil or something like that, or rosemary or so, something. It has some green shit sprinkled all over, it. and the olive oil drizzled on it or whatever, which is not the healthiest thing in the world, but tastes pretty good. But the burger wasn't all that. This last time I had a chicken sandwich and it wasn't all that either. So whatever. Anyway, I got the idea for this story while I was there and started writing it that Friday and today's Monday and it's already done edited on the website and I'm obviously re- uh, recording the audiobook for it I just finished recording the audiobook actually I gotta now after I record the intro and outro edit it and show that but before I get to that I want to tell you guys I mentioned a couple weeks ago about the book that I was writing it is officially now available you guys can check it out either through my website at spuntoday.com forward slash books or just Google the title or my name or on Amazon is where you'll readily find it. And the title of the book is Make Way For You, subtitled Tips For Getting Out Of Your Own Way. And I told you guys a bit about it before last time. It is very similar to, almost identical to, some of the comprised of some of the uh, free writing posts that I've read to you guys in the past uh, on this podcast. And what I did for the book, because I said I wanted to learn more about the how self-publishing worked and learn the ins and outs of it. And I think it's something that you don't really, you're going to get so far by, you know, reading articles and watching videos on how to do it and stuff like that. And you get another added layer to that. That's all a billion percent helpful and useful. And and it's where I would recommend everybody to start, you know, researching about it. But you get a little, you get that last final layer 
of certain insights into it by actually doing it. And I didn't want to put out something that I wouldn't be proud of, especially, you know, not just because it's my first or not just because it's a published work, but because it's my first published work. And it's something I want to look back on and, and be proud of, even though I'll probably look back on it in a few years and be like, God damn, that's shitty writing. But I would be happy if that's the case, because that means that I would be getting better, right? Which is the idea with this type of stuff, with honing and shaping and bettering your craft. And so my first idea for that I thought, the first thing that I thought I would publish would be a collection of short stories. And I didn't want to rush, you know, just throwing out a few short stories and, you know, putting out a, a 10 page book or something like that, uh, just to learn the process. I didn't want it to be crap, right? This coming from the guy that just wrote a short story in fucking three days, but <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want that, that to be the case. And at the same time, I, I want to learn how the, how the process works. And I got the idea to to go through my free writing because I have notebooks full of just free writing stuff. The stuff that you guys see on the website, sponsor.com forward slash free writing is just some of it, tip of the iceberg of it. I have notebooks full of free writing pieces. And I started going through, I got the idea to see if I can put together some sort of themed book comprised of all the free writing pieces and you guys know most of the free writing stuff it, it's insightful stuff and 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 motivational and inspirational and it's usually written towards myself it's very cathartic and therapeutic for me to do which is why i love doing it and i've learned a lot about myself by practicing that and i felt that that coupled with other things reading and listening to podcasts and stuff like that i've kind of come into my own so to speak and you know the podcasting of course obviously and it's that was definitely a tool that got me to where i am you know not that i'm anywhere special or anything like that but i'm much happier with myself and uh, i'm in a good place in my life and i you know when going through through the notebooks that you know are up to i believe go back three years when i first started putting them into actual notebooks and stuff like that and keeping them in a central central place i started seeing that through line of motivational and inspirational type of stuff and you know get up and you know give myself a kick in the ass every every once in a while and i see that through line and it's something that um i had enough i felt to you know, go through again, slightly edit for, you know, obviously for grammatical errors and and just for for shaping the context a little bit more. And it's 74 different, I'm sorry, it was 74, it's 72 different pieces. And I'll give you guys a little quick tangent of why I went down to 72 from 74. It was 74 and it, it was, I don't know, I'm weird with numbers, wanting them to mean something, and I landed on 72. I removed two that I was kind of forcing into the the narrative of of what the book is supposed to be. So I shaved off those two and landed on 72, which I was happy with because that's according to Graham Hancock and his latest his latest book. The his first one was Fingerprints of the Gods, and now he just came out with another one recently. I forgot what, the title of it, the title of it, but. According to him and his, you know, not according to him, but something that I heard him speak of was that there are 72 dimensions in the universe or in the planet or something like that, or realms, 72 realms and 72, the number 72 has some sort of universal and historic significance when it comes to realms and dimensions and solstice equinoxes and a whole bunch of other shit that I don't know how to, how to properly explain, so look it up if you guys want to. And so I landed on that. And so it's seven, the book is comprised of 72 individual pieces that are, have a, that through line of motivation and inspiration and just getting out of your own way, which is the subtitle, Tips for Getting Out of Your Own Way. And it's modeled after Stephen Pressfield's The War of Art, which is uh, written in a similar style. I borrowed that from, from him. My hope, honestly, is that it could, you know, if it 
one person reads it and you know one passage in there happens to spark some form of inspiration in them that that gives them that kick in the ass that they need to you know get up and do what it is that they want to do then that's the purpose of it then it's met and fulfilled its purpose and it's already done that with me so i just wanted to share that with you guys and like i said it's available the ebook right now right now on december 28th is 2015 is available for free uh for all kindle unlimited subscribers so if you have i think if if you just have amazon prime it's free for you but kindle unlimited subscribers you can download it for free all i ask is that you please review it let me know what you think preferably a five-star review and then separately email me and tell me if you think it's shitty and and stuff like that but hook it up with the five-star review and aside from that it's for any other if you you know if you don't have that kindle unlimited thing it's just 3.99 for any of your e-readers you know ibooks your iphones your oh on the iphone you can just download a free kindle app if you want and then you know download it onto there so it's very compatible with that or it does work with ibooks which is already on your phones and you know any of the other phones that you have and stuff like that so i'm sure you know what the e-readers are for that if not just download the free kindle app which i'm sure is free for all your phones and the paperback i am waiting for the proof of it which is should be coming any day now and then once i approve that it's going to be ready um, and available for purchase through Amazon as well at a price point of 8 for you guys to check out if you so choose. And that'll be available probably by the second week in January if I don't have to make any too many edits or anything like that. Um, but yeah, first or second week in January, the paperback copy is going to be available. So again, guys, you can find the book at sponsor.com forward slash books or just Google or check on Amazon. The title of it is Make Way For You, Tips For Getting Out Of Your Own Way, and written by yours truly, Tony Ortiz, and I thank you guys in advance for checking it out and for hooking it up with that Amazon review. Oh, and you can share that shit for free with any anybody that you guys want. I think it, it, the Kindle library store or whatever allows for that, so you guys can do that as well. And now with that said, and with that out of the way, here is the audiobook version of the short story fly which you can read along with if you so choose or you can uh, just check out and read later on at sponsor.com forward slash short stories forward slash fly fly by tony ortiz written december 28th 2015 hello oh hi miguel Why are you calling me blocked? Because I'm not at my desk. Some people have lunch at work, you know. Yeah. Yes, I said. I'm with Maritza. Okay. I have to stay a little later again today. Why are you whatevering me? Should I just quit my job? Are you going to pay all the bills? I didn't think so. I am doing what I got to do. Okay, bye. Oh, so I'm a girl now? To him, everybody better be a girl. Trust me. I'm not in the mood for his shit right now. What are you in the mood for? Well, you heard what I said. I'm working late, right? Good answer. We'll relieve all that stress a little later, sweetheart. I'll call for a reservation now. Don't use that same place as last week. Those sheets were so uncomfortable. I can leave today around... Bro, if this deal goes through, we are set. Do you know how big an investment from them will be? I know, man. I don't want to jinx it, but I think. Next online, can I take your order? (sighs) I'm so sick of this guy. I don't think I've ever heard a positive thing about him. I don't get how he still gets to manage. You're lucky he hasn't worked with your department yet. If he knew what he was doing, 
I'd be fine with it all, too. And I heard he acts like he knows it all, too. That's what I'm saying. Dude, just admit when you don't know something. That makes us not want to deal with your smug ass. Tell me about it. I can't work with people. Tracy, where's order number 57, please? Mike, when you see three like this on the screen, you know they're to stay orders. So you can prep the three trays now with the lining and set them up here before the food is even. You guys going to eighth period? Nah, fuck that. I didn't do Mr. Fox's homework anyways. I'm down to chill. I don't feel like going back today. I'll chill for 8th too, but I got a trig test 9th. Pussy. Fuck trig. What do you need that for? Yeah, yeah. So I can get the fuck out of school, man. I don't want to wind up working in a place like this forever. Here's your change. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. What time you get off today? What? What time you get off today, beautiful? So I can come pick you up. Uh, 5.30, but I don't need you to pick me up. Next online, please. I'm not moving until you say yes to me. You crazy. The people online are going to kill you. You're worth dying for. Oh, my God. I can't with you. You're crazy. Just give me your number real quick, and I'll be on my way. Okay, but only so you move and don't hold on my line. 917-643. Excuse me, do you know how much longer it's going to be? I only have a half hour lunch break. What's your order number? 51. Did they forget? No, it should just be a couple of minutes. Come on, man. It's been 13 already. It'll just be a couple more minutes, ma'am. I'm sorry. We'll give you... Danielito, comase todas sus papas. Ya me comí mucho, mami. Después del Freedom Tower y el Museo de la Torre Gemelas, ¿para dónde quieren ir? Vamos a la tienda de juguetes. ¿Qué juguetes ni juguetes? Comase su almuerzo. Vamos a la Estatua de Libertad o a la Empire State Building, que queda por ahí también. Next online, can I take your order? Uh, I'm not looking at you dudes, I'm looking past you I thought I told you cats, I'm not a rapper Can I live? I told you 96 that I came to take this shit And I did handle my biz Scramble like Randall with his My bad, yeah, let me get a Order number 51 Here you go ma'am We're really sorry for the delay Here's a $5 coupon for your next visit I can't come back here. I don't have time to eat in this place. We need bread at home, right? Nah, I got some after my jog this morning. Okay, nice. I was going to say we could swing by the bodega after the movie. One step ahead of you, boo. Here, try my milkshake. It's... This burger sucks, man. Yeah, it's not that great. We have to try a different spot. Mix it up a bit. Yeah. It's crazy how hot it is today too, right? Have you seen all the people on Instagram and Facebook with pics of them in their shorts and tees and shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hashtag short sleeve December or something like that. Yeah, they went a touch too far with the shorts though. Watch it be snowing in April now. Fucking climate is all out of whack. Here's your order, sir. Enjoy and have a great day. Thanks, you too, boss. And that's it, folks. That's the story. You guys think the fly died at the end? I do. So, yeah, like I told you guys, the I got the idea for the story when I was at the... Uh, this burger joint by my job and i was just standing around people watching and and we kind of lose 
uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm fucking nuts, but everybody feels like they are like in the Truman Show, like the world revolves around them, and sometime before you die, the veil's gonna lift, and everybody's gonna pop out and say, ah, you were on TV the whole time, or we got you, or whatever, and there's an innate self-centered part to all of us, I think, that have at one point or another thought that or somewhere within the realm of that possibility and i think it's important to notice and realize and kind of like take a step back and outside of yourself for lack of a better term every once in a while and realize that everybody around you has their own shit going on you know i mean i know we know that uh like peripherally we know that intellectually but really get that and and try to empathize with the fact that people have their own shit going on their own problems their own goals their own achievements their own sadness and issues and trials and tribulations and and happy moments and sad moments and and the, everything that you go through, other people go through their versions of. And um, I think it's important sometimes to take that step back and realize that. And not only while you're people watching with strangers in a random burger joint in the city, but with your family, your loved ones, and the people that you care about that are around you, take it upon yourself to show that much more interest in their lives and the shit that they're going through and be there for them and hope that you get the same in return and understand that when you don't it's most likely because they're just going through their own shit and yeah i guess that's like the underlying premise of the story you know everybody has their own little world going on and i hope you guys liked it and if you didn't then you didn't (laughs) Uh, let me know what you guys think. As always, you can check out the short story at spuntray.com forward slash short story forward slash fly. And you can write comments on there. You can share it. Uh, you can email me at spuntray at gmail.com. And uh, that's pretty much it, fellas and girls, and ladies and gentlemen. That is the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And to just uh, beat a dead horse real quick and give myself a shameless plug in case I did not sell you with the my first ever publication that I hope you guys check out. I'm going to read you guys the back blurb that I wrote for the book. See if this entices you a little bit. You are all the self-help that you need. That's right. You're powerful beyond belief and simply need to realize it. I won't say that this book will instantly unlock all of your mental shackles. That's way too much responsibility for me. But it will surely help you find the keys. You have to be the one to decide to use them or not. Free writing is the cathartic release that comes with writing in a flow state. When you're in the zone, jotting down everything and anything that comes to mind, you'll be surprised how insightful this practice could be. This is the first volume in a collection of freely written thoughts that helped me get through some of my own personal barriers and bullshit. My hope is that they can help you in a similar way. Let's get to a place where we can substitute the mysticism with hard work and start taking steps in the general direction of our dreams. Here's to all of those dormant creators out there. Boom, bitches, $3.99. Pick it up, Amazon.com. Make way for you. And I hope you guys have an awesome new year. You guys all know where to find me by this point. SpunToday.com is our website. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at, at SpunToday. Uh, check out the Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash SpunToday. Sign up to my newsletter or on my website. Listen to this podcast either on Tumblr, on YouTube, on Stitcher, on iTunes, or your favorite podcatcher, on uh, Pocket Cast, whatever you, wherever you want to listen. Or on my website too, by the way. All these episodes are on my website under the podcast tab with all the episode notes and links that I mentioned in the episode or different songs that I play and shit like that. 
and I will check all you motherfuckers out in 2016. May you have a happy and prosperous new year. Be safe, have fun, and enjoy time with your family. What's up, folks? Tony here. I hope you're enjoying this podcast as much as I enjoy producing it for you. Here are a few quick ways that you can help support this show. You can support the Spun Today podcast by going to spuntoday.com forward slash support. There you'll find my merch section where you can cop the iconic podcasts versus anybody t-shirt in a wide variety of different colors and all different sizes. Also, if you're into cycling, you can cop the super soft, comfortable, minimalist design Spun Today Bike Club t-shirt. Also available in a bunch of different colors and all different sizes. There are a few other designs of different types of t-shirts. Definitely go there and check it out. SpunToday.com forward slash support. It's the merch section. We can also get a dope coffee mug. I have coffee mugs with the brand new redesigned Spun Today logo on one side and the tagline that I end every show with on the other which is start taking steps in the general direction of your dreams. The mug is available in both black and white because we don't discriminate here at the Spun Today podcast. Again, go to spuntoday.com forward slash support and check out the merch section. You can support the Spun Today podcast by checking out my writing. You can go to spuntoday.com forward slash free writing and check out some of my free association writing, which is intended to be some cathartic free writing but oftentimes doubles down as motivation for myself and others. At spuntoday.com forward slash short stories, you can read a bunch of the different short stories that I've written and actually listen to the audiobook versions of those short stories there as well. Another way you can help support my writing is by going to spuntoday.com forward slash books and checking out what I have in store for sale. Digital copies are available in all formats whether it be Kindle, iBooks, or a different type of e-reader. You can also purchase paperback copies, if that's your preferred reading method. Currently available, I have my nonfiction, Make Way For You, which is a collection of freely written thoughts that were curated and put together as tips for getting out of your own way. Also available is my debut time travel novel, titled Fractal. Again, go to spuntoday.com forward slash books to show your support. Support the Spun Today podcast by following me on social at Spun Today on Twitter, at Spun Today on Instagram. Please also check out and like my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Spun Today, and subscribe to my YouTube page as well. On my YouTube page, not only will you get these full length episodes, but you'll also get to check out some chopped up clips and bonus content. To get to my YouTube page, just search Spun Today on YouTube or click on any of the YouTube icons on the footer of my website. Also, don't forget to rate and review this podcast wherever it is that you're listening. It really does help. The Spun Today newsletter is available to each and every one of my listeners absolutely for free. All you have to do is go to spuntoday.com forward slash subscribe and drop in your email address. What I'm going to do is brighten up everybody's least favorite day of the week by delivering five curated things within my weekly newsletter every Monday at noon. You're going to receive a photo of the week, a recommended podcast of the week. I listen to tons of podcasts from an array of varied interests. I cherry pick the very best ones so that you can check them out. I also share a video of the week, which can be anything from a tasty recipe to a dope rap battle to an enlightening TED talk. I also share a quote of the week. And finally, for my fellow wordsmiths out there, a word of the week, so that you can step up your vocab. Again, this curated list is yours absolutely free by going to spuntoday.com forward slash subscribe and dropping in your email address, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Again, go to spuntoday.com forward slash subscribe, drop in your email address, and you'll get the very next one. If you want to help support the Spun Today podcast financially, you can do so by going to spuntoday.com forward slash support. Here you'll find a few different ways that you can do so. You can shop on Amazon, but first go to my website, spuntoday.com forward slash support. Click on the Amazon banner, which will take you to Amazon's website where you do your shopping like you normally do. It will not cost you anything extra, but I will get credit for driving traffic to their website. Another cool way that you can help support this show is through Patreon, where you can set up reoccurring donations to my podcast, whether it be $1 per show, $2 per show, etc. And depending on how much you choose to pledge, you will receive some Patreon perks in return. Things like free writing pieces, 
free bookmarks, free digital copies of my books, etc. Again, my Patreon link can be found at spuntoday.com forward slash support. You can also set up similar reoccurring payments via my Ko-fi page. And if you want to send a one-time happiness bomb donation, if you will, you can do so via my PayPal link. Again, all of which can be found at spuntoday.com forward slash support. If you're a fellow creative, a cool way that you can help support the Spun Today podcast and actually be part of the podcast is by filling out my five question questionnaire located at spuntoday.com forward slash questionnaire. Here you'll find the five open questions related to your craft, your art, what inspires you to create, what type of unrelated hobbies you're into, and what motivates you to get your work done. You can choose to remain anonymous or plug your website and your work. And once you submit your questionnaire, I read your responses on a future episode of the Spun Today podcast. It's completely free at no cost to you. And what I like to say about it is that if your responses could potentially spark inspiration in someone else, why not share that? SpunToday.com forward slash questionnaire. And as always, folks, substitute the mysticism with hard work and start taking steps in the general direction of your dreams. Thanks for listening. I love you, Aiden. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Grayson. I love you, Daddy.